Hi everyone and welcome back to another spooky season video. If you want to see how I created this spider look then just keep watching. So like always I started priming with my tart shape tape, putting that all over the eyelid and using a little flat brush just to buff that in. The first step in this look is to create a black smoky eye and for this I used the James Charles Morphe Artistry Palette. I started by first stamping that all over the lid, making sure to keep it below the crease because we're going to blend that out later. Then using a large fluffy blending brush, I just stepped into one of the lighter brown shades in the palette and started to buff that in at the crease. Using that same big brush, I now start to blend out the black into the brown, keeping that quite high above the crease. And you can just go back and forward with the black and the brown and smoke that out until you're happy. Okay, just going to do the same thing on the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now that those smoky eyes were on, it's time to move on to the next step. So I took this white Revolution Pro eyeliner pencil and just started mapping out exactly where I wanted all of those spooky spider legs to be. So now that I had a rough idea of where I wanted those spider legs to be, it was time to take the Soap & Glory Super Cat Black Eyeliner and just go over where I put those white lines. Now it's much easier to do this with a white first because then if you make any mistakes or you want to change anything, you can know it's much much easier to rub it out and then go back over it with the black once you're completely happy. So just starting to draw those legs on, you can see I'm separating them into sort of two or three little sausage type shapes. Now this is just to give the appearance of a more realistic leg shape. And then I just went ahead and did the exact same thing on every single leg. And I sort of went back and forward and you can do this too if you're recreating this at home. Um, just to give you a really good idea of where you want all of the little joints and all the leg parts to be. Um, you know, there's no rules with makeup, you can go back and forward, change it as many times as you like. So once all of those basic leg shapes were on, like I said, I just went back over all of the lines again, just really thickened it up a little bit. I did some little tiny strokes just to make it more like spider hairs. I don't know if you can really see that on camera that well at this point. So once I was totally happy with that basic shape, it was time to start adding some details. So I took this little flash palette and dipped into the white. And I started putting that just where the sort of spider leg joint parts meet. And you want to be really careful with this part. Just do a tiny little bit on each of the joints. You can see I haven't completely filled in all of the legs, especially where the, the joining parts are. This is quite hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing. And I just went ahead and did that on all of the legs.
So once all of those white details were on, I jumped back into the flash palette and dipped into the black shade and just went around all of the legs again, particularly where the white parts were, and filled all of those little gaps in and just made it really stand out. And then once that was done, I made sure I was totally happy with it. I went back into the black shadow and smoked out that lower lash line and also took a little bit more onto the lid and blended it into the crease where I had just put those legs just to make sure that it all blended seamlessly and it didn't ruin the illusion of the spider legs. And then I used the Tarte Cosmetics Kit and Liner and just ran that through the waterline. Okay, next it was time for the most important part of this look, the shadows. So taking a little tiny detail brush and dipping back into that black eyeshadow from the James Charles Morphe Artistry palette, I just started putting the shadow lines on where the spider legs are. Now it's important to keep the shadows the darkest at the base of the leg, closest to your eye, and then the faintest at the edge of the leg and you can see that I'm not keeping it exactly as close to the leg and going in all the little nooks and crannies. And that's absolutely fine, but it is important that you make sure the end of the shadow line touches the end of the spider leg or it will just completely shatter the illusion. And again, I just went ahead and repeated the same thing on every single spider leg. There we go, so this is how it was looking. Now it's important that you want to keep the shadows all on the same side, so it gives the illusion that the light is hitting you from that side, and that's how it's creating the shadows. And then it was time for lips. So I did think about doing a black lip, but then I decided against it and just went for this L'Oreal Paris nude lip paint. And actually I think it, it made it a lot better. I think a black lip really would have been too much with the eye. And the final step was to finish up with some mascara. So as always, I just used my Tarte Cosmetics Light Camera Lashes Mascara. And you could totally add a, a false lash with this, but I think you really don't need it. There's already a lot going on here. So there we go, the finished look. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment and let me know. I really liked how this one turned out. If you liked it too, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday. And if you want to see any more spooky makeup looks like this one, then check out my Instagram. Go ahead, follow me at NicolaSavage22. Alright, everyone take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye!